good morning dear students today we are going to learn about tenses and in the previous classes already we have learned about nouns subjects verbs or sentences types of sentences everything we have learned and now see tenses and we know that tenses of a verb tells us about the time of an action again tenses of a verb tells us about the time of an action and it also tells us when the action is was or will be carried out and see sometimes the time would be in the past or sometimes the time would be in the present or maybe future okay now see the present tense refers to actions that are happening at the time of speaking again the present tense refers to actions that are happening at the time of speaking means now at the time of speaking and we also use it to talk about habits or to describe a situation that is permanent again we use present uh, present tense to say or describe a situation that is permanent see the example sir the students are participating in a creative writing competition see the tense are participating it is going on the students are participating means the present tense now it is going on the students are participating in a creative writing competition again pramila wakes up at 6 every morning another example pramila wakes up at 6 every morning again she wakes up what is the verb here wakes wakes up at 6 every morning it means it is permanent it is happening permanent and the earth revolves around the sun another fact the earth revolves around the sun see revolves revolves is the verb in the given sentence the earth revolves around the sun okay now see now we use simple present tense when we have to use simple present tense to or we use simple present tense to express a habitual action or an action that is performed often again we use simple present tense to express a habitual action or an action that is performed often see examples anirudha is often late and runs to school see anirudha is often late and runs to school see that habitual action see to express a habitual action or an action that is performed often he anirudha is often late and runs means that is his habit that is why it is said that is habitual action and shandanu plays badminton on saturdays means it also is a means a permanent uh, place it, that is the verb by shandanu plays badminton on saturdays okay again see another example to express general truth or facts 
another to express general truths or facts we use simple present tense to express general truths or facts let us see examples many animals depend on plants for food and oxygen see many animals depend on plants for food and oxygen means is a truth or fact you know listen it is a truth and same many animals depend on plants for food and oxygen another example the main types of habitats on earth are aquatic and terrestrial this also a truth or a fact that means all these are simple present tense all the given sentences which you have uh, we have learned now are simple present tense okay now and the see in exclamatory sentences beginning with here and there to express an action that is taking place at that moment okay now see the examples related to this one here comes the train this is an exclamatory sentence here comes the train ha huh? exclamation there goes the indian team see there goes the indian team this also is an exclamatory sentence and see again to talk about a future event that is part of a fixed time table in a uh, simple present when we are using to talk about a future event that is part of a fixed time table again see the prime minister visits the us next sunday the prime minister visits the us means already it is time table means already it has decided it so the prime minister visits the us next sunday again the other heads of state reach there tomorrow here see the verb reach other heads of state reach there tomorrow means it also time table means it already fixed it the other heads of state reach there tomorrow and see again see present continuous we use the present continuous tense to talk about an action that is going on at the time of speaking the action that is going on at the time of speaking and see in the present continuous tense am uh, is or are are used with the ing form of the main verb means when we are talking about uh, present continuous tense then we have to add ing with the verb or with the verb or with the main verb we have to use uh, or we have to add ing see the examples here the stars are twinkling in the sky see the main verb twinkling then we have added twinkling ing that is the stars are twinkling in the sky again mrs shankar is getting ready for office mrs shankar is getting ready for office again see we use the present perfect tense to talk about an action that began in the past but has just been completed or perfected just now just it has completed or perfected then see it is formed by using have or has at the past participle of the main verb and see the present perfect tense 
links the past with the present. Let us see the examples. Mamta has bought a personal computer. See, Mamta has bought. Yes, it has completed. The mom, mom, sorry, Mamta has bought a personal computer. Then, Jigyasa has spoken to the municipal corporation about cleanliness in her locality. Again, the last one. We use the present perfect continuous tense to talk about an action that started in the past but it is uh, still it is continuing at the time of speed means it already has started at the past but, but now also it is going on or now also it is continuing. And see some examples. Sir. Anishka has been reading this book since Monday means uh, already she has started the, the past but now also it is continuing or it is going on and see another we have been living in Kochi since 2016 already we have started the means living 2016 but now also we are living there only okay all these are some of the things related with the tenses and some more examples we can learn in the next class. Thank you all of you.